Hello everyone. Today we are going to create a product using a flat file on TikTok shop. So starting from the home page here, the workflow you're going to follow is you're going to navigate to products and then you're going to click bulk actions. From there, you're going to hit bulk publish products. This is going to let you download your category, excuse me, your category template you need uh, to get the file started. So let's go ahead and click download template. The product we are going to be listing today is going to be this 12 ounce stainless steel Batman tumbler that we have on the Age of Sage account. Uh, so what you can do to get a head start here, well, first actually let's go ahead and find the category and we'll download our template here. So we're gonna click kitchenware and then we are also going to go under drinkware. There's not a specific tumblers um, category or subcategory here. So you're gonna have a uh, couple different options you could choose from. Uh, the one we are going to choose that I believe is most applicable to the product we're listing is gonna be vacuum flasks as this is a vacuum sealed stainless steel tumbler. Uh, so we're gonna click that and then we will click select brands. This will give you a head start and let it populate your uh, registered brand name in the flat file feed. So let's go ahead and click Age of Sage. From there, you can click download template and it's going to give you that base template to start filling in your information. Now, I went ahead and got a head start here and already downloaded the template and pre-populated with the specific information that we need. And let's go ahead and start from the beginning here, run, running through the different uh, columns and fields that we need to fill out. Now, you can make this a thousand times easier on yourself by downloading a category listings report if you are transferring over the product from Amazon to TikTok uh, or TikTok shop. You're going to be able to find the product you want to list and you're going to get all those key details that you need to upload your product in TikTok sh shop. Most of this is going to be copy and paste from the fields you need. Again, the, the TikTok shop uh, flat file template is extremely similar to uh, Amazon. Uh, Amazon's flat file template. So you can use this to get a lot of the product information you need. Now let's go back to our TikTok shop flat file feed here. First column we're going to look at, let me drag myself over, is going to be the category. Now, since we uh, selected that high level category kitchenware, you're going to get all of those subcategories here that you can choose from in the drop dropdown. Uh, and again, pre-populated vacuum flasks, that's what we selected. Next, you can click the drop down to select your Age of Sage uh, brand name or for your own account, your brand name that you have registered on the account. Uh, and then from there, we just copy and pasted our product name um, from Amazon. And for the product description here, now TikTok shop does not have specified bullet point fields like you see in an Amazon Seller Central uh, flat file feed. So what we did here is we just added a break and put in each of the bullet points and we'll reformat this after we get this product submitted uh, just in the manual route in the edit a product uh, section of TikTok shop. But we're going to go ahead and keep chugging here. Mandatory fields, your package weight, your package length, uh, width, height. You don't need to select anything from delivery options, but then you will need your product code. Uh, you get a couple different selections here in the drop down GTIN, EAN, UPC, ISBN. I would assume most of your products are going to be UPC, so you can select that and then input your UPC from, um, or excuse me, correlated to your product. Variation one. So this is where you can specify different variations uh, that you may want for a parentage. Uh, again, sim very similar to Amazon Seller Central. Uh, it has everything broken out here in the uh, example tab on your template. So you're going to be able to see a couple different examples here. The product we're listing, it's following a single product with one SKU. Uh, but this is where you can see what you need to fill in for different variations. If maybe you want to create a color variation or a size variation, uh, or even combining the both, like a dual variation that you see on Amazon Seller Central. You can do all of that in this flat file feed. And uh, this example tab has all the information you need on how to create that. And that's essentially where that variation field comes in. You need to specify with your two different product lines what the variation is. It's a pink color and a red color. And then if you wanna do a dual variation, you can do pink and red, and then you can also select variation two here, two grams or five grams. 
So that is how you would create a parentage or a dual variation here on TikTok shop. Not the case for our product we're listing, but let's go ahead and go back to our template. So what we have here, we just put 12 ounce for the uh, variation one. You do not need a variation image. You do not need a variation two uh, for the example product that we are listing. You're gonna wanna put in your selling price here in retail price and then your warehouse. So this is already designated. When you set up your TikTok shop account, you're gonna need to set up your shipping. And from there, it's going to give you the drop down for the um, shipping or excuse me, the warehouse that you want to select. So this is already pre populated in your TikTok shop account. Um, so all it is is selecting the, the option you want to choose for your warehouse. If maybe you have multiple warehouses that you set up on the account. So through this drop down, you can choose the one that is tied to your account and the one that you want to use. Next, we have our quantity field. I set this to zero just because I don't want to start selling this product immediately. Then you can input your seller SKU and then your uh, mandatory field. You're going to want to upload your main product image. Now, I just used a uh, image hosting site to upload that and put in a link and we will go ahead and continue. I'll put in the other product images after the listing gets created. <clears throat> you have fields like a size chart and then we had a couple conditionally mandatory fields here. Uh, pattern, volume, style, feature, and material. Now, what's great is they have pre-selected um, options you can choose from. Sadly, it only lets you uh, select one here, but when we go back in to edit the product manually, you're gonna be able to select mul multiple options, which will help with the SEO factors um, and, and just displaying all the right product features on your uh, TikTok uh, product page. So we have all of that filled out here, and then that is going to be it. Uh, when you are listing products in different categories, you're going to see category specific fields here at the end. That's essentially where these fields came into play. Um, when we were listing our Age of Sage uh, natural soap bars, it had a ton of different fields here that I didn't have to submit for this tumbler. So there are category specific fields that you will need to submit for your product. <clears throat> so we have everything we need here to list this product. We can go back to TikTok shop here. I'm going to cancel out of this downloading the template. And then all you need to do with your submitted file is uh, select the file under upload template that you want to upload. We're going to do the one we just created. And you're going to uh, su submit that and you're going to see if it went through or not through the status field. Now, I ran into an issue on the first go around here. I did already list this product. It was just using the wrong main image link. So I had to switch to that image hosting site, but I was able to get this right after. Now, if you have issues or maybe you submitted a field incorrectly or missed a field, it'll tell you all of that when you download your failed entries report. Uh, but we were able to get this one correct just after fixing the made image uh, hosting URL link. So we can go back now to manage products since this has already been submitted. And <clears throat> we're going to see our product that we just created. Let's go ahead and click edit. Perfect. So we have everything here that we submitted. We have our title, our category, our brand name. This is where you can input more product attributes. Um, we were only able to select a couple here in the, or excuse me, select one per each field here in the flat file template, but now you can add multiple ones using these drop downs, and we'll go ahead and fill that out after. And you can upload your your all your images you have, maybe upload a video. And then here we can see our product details. Like I mentioned, no specific field for bullet points. So I'm just going to make these bullet points and I'll give it a little break here so it can excuse me, look a little cleaner. If it lets me, we'll see. There we go. And let's just do this last one. Perfect. <clears throat> so we do have uh, variations enabled. Maybe we wanted to add a different color or a different pattern. We could do that here, but everything carried over from our flat file feed. So we have, if it lets me scroll this over, our UPC, retail price, quantity, seller SKU, <clears throat> our shipping weight. I'll need to fix that. Um, maybe I had a bad data entry here, but you can correct all of this after you submit if there was anything that was incorrect. That just, I know that's way too low for what this product is. 
Um, so I'll fix that real quick, but we have our product created from a flat file feed upload, everything carried over, and then you can finish up the last manual touches if needed uh, through the edit a product field like I'm doing right now. Thank you guys.